Bida, one of the eight emirates in Niger state, is the traditional headquarter of the Nupes, a people said to be descendants of Vabin Nafila, believed to have migrated from northeast Africa. The name Bida is a Nupe word meaning come, let's go to the land of safety and comfort. And Bida, to many, has lived up to its name as the emirate has ever remained peaceful. We always preach to them the fear of Almighty Allah and whatever they do and whatever they say. In terms of their activities uh, among themselves, with one another and within the society. And also naturally, uh, we thank Almighty Allah, uh, people have a lot of endurance and a lot of respect for one another. You know, that uh, culture and tradition that actually um, been uh, sort of uh, observed in the society and uh, whereby, you know, we were our brothers keep us, you know, sort of we help each, each other. When one is in a uh, problem, he can, you know, uh, communicate to the other and then uh, uh, sort of um, a helping hand is extended to him or to her, so thereby solving you know, his or her problem. So with that, because you know, there's no any society will be devoid of uh, crisis or uh, problems. But if you have a society that uh, brothers, you know, you know, help each other, sisters uh, come to the, you know, each other's uh, uh, assistance. You see, that will be uh, calm. That will be sort of understanding and tolerance and uh, respect for one another. Bida, said to be founded before the 14th century, grew to become a strong world town. Until date, relics of the famed wall could still be found. Nupe dynasty generally has been founded by Swedi. Swedi is an ancient Nupe leader who reigned in this part of the country even before the Fulani conquest, the Jihad conquest. Then the chieftains, chieftains remained. They are chieftains, headed by chiefs, local chiefs, most of them of pagan tribes. They were rulers in charge of these ancient Bay chieftains. But when the leader, our great ancestor, Madam Muhammad Dendo, the jihad leader for Sokoto, by Gondu, came in this part of the country. He tried to sort of uh, coerce the, uh, the, the local population into this great religion of Islam. Where they refuse, he conquers them. And after the conquest, he established Nupe Fulani Empire, headed by Malan Dando himself. He's a religious leader from Sokoto. We are part of the Western, uh, Western Empire of uh, Sokoto, established by the great reformer, Sheikh uh, Usman Napoli. Now, he tried, like I said, to convince them to accept Islam through cohesion. Those who refuse, he conquered them. That's the rule of uh, the jihad. He then established the Fulani Empire, since he was Fulani himself. You see. Now, he then made Bida as his headquarters. There are three ruling houses in Bida. The Shaba explains the rotation in rulership of the Emirate from the three ruling houses. He came with two Fulani wives, and the third one was Anupi, the son of the first one. And after uh, establishing this dynasty, he then uh, decreed that uh, the rulership of Anupi will be among his children. It will rotate from the first son to the second son to the third son in accordance with the three wives he has. His eldest son was Muhammadu Maji. Maji died before the father, died before Muhammad Dindu. And so the choice then of the first Fulani the Emir that went to uh, the, 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 the 
son, the, the son of the, the, the second son, Uswanzaki. He had then, that time, built the walls of Bida. He then established these three houses. The house of Mama Maji, the house of Uswanzaki, and then the house of Masaba. The city gates. We have in Bida 12 gates. Where people go. No, in, the, in, those, in those, those days, by midnight, they are even closed and they open after the first morning prayer. And they have identified people now. Bamsumbogi, Bamsumbara, Bamsumwea, Bamsumwea. They are named after, the place, after prominent uh, uh, events or places they live to. At the end of our chat, the hospitable people that Bida people are, the Shabanupe presented royal colonels to us. As a mark of respect, the colonels are not received in the usual way directly with hands. Footprints of the Europeans in Bida reminds one of the people's early contact with the Europeans dating far back to 1884. The Wadata Palace, official residence of any reigning Esunupi, the first court of Esu presided over matters ranging from personal disputes to land matters and the first administrative headquarters, which today serves as Bida Local Government Secretariat, were all built by the colonial masters in 1933. Benebida is the heart of Bida. Bida settlement actually started here. Benebida Mosque. The oldest mosque in Bida is about 406 years. It is still very much in use. Government College Bida is a famous post-primary institution in Bida, an institution reckoned with in terms of the eminent personalities it has produced, among them two former heads of state, General Ibrahim Babengida and General Abdul Salam Abubakar. The school was established in 19. 14. It was founded in 1912 and established in 1914. Of the prominent uh, Nigerians, that stud uh, students that passed out from this school, one is uh, Ibrahim, General Ibrahim Babangida, I think one time head of state. He was admitted here in 1957. And in their class, we, they have a number of generals, which uh, General Babangida is one, General Sani Sami is one again, uh, General Abdul Salami, one time head of state also, was one, uh, General Muhammad Maiguru, uh, General Muhammad Gadonasko. They all passed out from this famous institution of Mo College, Bida. How would you compare the academic standard of the school now and as at that time? Uh, generally, I would say uh, all over the nation, the standard of schools were not what they were in the past. And. Uh, uh, maybe we may count this to be maybe the population and the maybe age of maybe students maybe taking enrolled in schools these days because in those days they were fairly matured and this time no so the standard was high that particular time a couple of old boys of the school relate their experiences in the school I came into that school in 1956. Then there, there was a lot of discipline. Even as princes, we had to stay in uh, dormitories, you know, boarding dormitories. We weren't allowed to go home. We fear even our senior prefects much more than the, the teachers myself. So you could be disciplined as a prince? Yes. Academically, it was. It was better than what you find these days, honestly speaking, myself, because uh, we were much more dedicated to our studies. 
The teachers were very much educated. Most of them that time were Europeans. And uh, they didn't tolerate any nonsense at all for anybody. Before we left, uh, there were uh, Nigerians who were then graduates and then appointed education officers who came to teach us. But then, like I said, they were much more dedicated to our course because they were preparing us for the future, for what we are today. In those days, the principal would go from class to class, watching the teacher from the window, you know, before he gets into the class. But not now. Our boys will come in now. From five, they, say, they do now. It's a three. You, you hardly ask them to construct a sentence. Some, some of them will, will not even know what they're taking that one. Now, when you compare the life of the citizenship of those days with uh, today's uh, life, I think you find that uh, there's no citizenship today because in those days, both those who have and those who don't have children are mixed together and they're schooled together without any sign of showing differences. And we are well disciplined. We have activities which are arranged chronological order that everybody has to follow. The standard was very high. High in the sense that um, they drill you. During my days, I was a prophet, a school prophet, for that matter, and um, lab prophet and room prophet at the same time. But my, uh, in the school, my popularity is as a result of uh, being a sportman. What advice do you have for to these students? Is to take their education very serious, because that is where the future is hinged. And anybody and any society that plays with the education is just like somebody playing with his own food. The Nupes are predominantly farmers specializing in the cultivation of rice. It was for this reason that the federal government established the National Cereal Research Institute, Badegi, 